Hey guys, Linda here. Come back at you with another video today. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. Today I'm coming to you with my second book haul. Most of these going to be category romances, um, but I have some other books to it, but I, mostly they're going to be category romances. And first up, um, I have some Love Swept here. I used to read Love Swept back in the day. I used to read Iris Johansson. Um, that's what my, she was my favorite author from that uh, category romance. Uh, from Love Swept. So I went on eBay and I tried to find all her um, Love Swept books because I used to have them. I think I got rid of most of them. But I said I was going to go back and uh, see can I find most of them and I'm just going to keep them as a collection. I don't know if I'll go back and read them but I'm trying to collect all of Iris Johansson Love Swept romances. So I got I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and look and see how many books she wrote for Love Swept. But I got quite a few because, like I said, I went on eBay. I found a lot of Iris Johansson Love Swept and I bought those. So we'll go over them. Uh, this is uh, book number 24 in the uh, Love Swept uh, category romance by Iris Johansson. This is The Reluctant Lark. And I've read most of these. Um, I might uh, read the synopsis and I'll just read the synopsis of the one I want to read and I'll probably go back and read that one. But I'm not going to go back and read all of her books because some of them I like and some of them just like uh, they're okay. I didn't have any special ones out of there. That's why I probably got rid of uh, most of them. Uh, but she write like strong hero characters, alpha male characters. So if you like those alpha male characters and you like reading category romance and you want to read Love Swept, you probably have to get this off of eBay uh, out of the uh, buyer section on Amazon um, because like I said these are old books uh, when was this published let's see here this was published back in 1983 and it's only like these were like they look like I said they're like little category romances 180 pages so this won't take too long to, to read and like I said I might go back and read some of them I'm just gonna read the uh, synopsis of those and if I like the synopsis I'll go back and read them but I'm just collecting Iris Johansson Lil Swip and then I'm not gonna read the synopsis on here um, but I like uh, the pictures on the cover they like they had that little swoop there and there you go and this is book number 24 The Reluctant Lark um, you got the Golden Bakri. I hope I pronounced that right. And look like we got a chic here. That look interesting. And this is book number 31. And I love their covers. Uh, we got book number 35, The Trustworthy Redhead. Here. Oh, let me see when this was published. I'll tell you the date they were published. Uh, this was published in 1984 and how many pages in here yeah 180 pages it was about like 180 pages for all these books probably let's see how many yep 180 in this one too and this was published in 1983 we got Return to Santa Flora this is uh, book number 40 Love Swip category room. And I think these was all from the same uh, person because all these books uh, got Rose in here. I guess the woman that owned these, her name was Rose. I guess she liked Iris Johansson like I did too. Uh, this is uh, from 1984. Next we got No Red Roses. Book number 44. Uh, See, so you got Rose in there. Rose's book. <laughs> And this was published in 1984 also. No Red Roses. And look at the cover. I love these covers. This is book number 82, White Satin by Iris Johansson. And this was published in 1985. There you go. We got Starlight Star Bright. Uh, this is uh, book number 232 by her. I'm going to go and look and see if these are all her books. Um, maybe I'm missing a couple, but I'll go back and see. And if I am, I'm going to go in order. I'll try to find those that I'm missing. This was published in 1987. Uh, this is book number 257, Man from Half Moon Bay. And this was published in 1988. I got Magnificent Folly, uh, book number 342. Uh, 
because this was published in 1989. We got the uh, the adventures, the Delaney of Killaroo. I think this was in a series, but I think um, it was like different authors wrote in this series. And Ira Johansson also wrote. She wrote uh, in the series too. And this is Matilda the Adventurous. And this was published in... Let's see here. Uh, 1987. And then now I just got like regular books by her back from back in the day. I'm also collecting some of her books that she wrote. for Because now she, when you uh, see an Ira Johansson book, it's usually just romantic suspense. That's all she writes now is romantic suspense. Uh, but uh, this is like a historical from her. That I got, and it has a step step back. He looked like Dracula right there. <laughs> but I like this uh, step back; it's pretty. And this is Storm Winds. So I might give this a try. Um, I'm not gonna read the synopsis on it, but I found this on. I think where did I get this from? Was it eBay? I think it was either eBay or uh, Thrift Books. I got it from one of them and I saw this and I picked it up um, by Iris Johansson because I never, I already read her category romances. I never, I didn't know she wrote actual like books like this from back in the day. Let me see when this was published. Uh, this was published in 1991. Oh, and I got this from Half Price Books. This is why I got this from. $3.99. I got it from Half Price Books. We have a half price book here in uh, Tennessee and I um, went over there and they didn't have too much of a selection, but I saw this in here and I picked it up by Aris Johansson. And then this is the last book. I, I did get this off of uh, eBay. It came with this lot right here. This is Wild uh, Silver and this is also on the Delaney's. Um, this book right here, I guess it's going to be on one of, um, I don't know who's the Delaney. Um, Maybe it's Matilda who's the Delaney. I don't know. But it's going to be one on her ancestors. I got, I guess, one of the Delaney ancestors uh, this book is. And this is Wild Silver by Iris Johansson. Let me see when this was published. Um, it was published in 1988. So those are all my books uh, for Iris Johansson. Next up I have, I think I mentioned that I wanted to collect books from the uh, Holoquin Intrigue uh, line. So let me get those. It's uh, 74 books in the Holoquin Intrigue line that I want to uh, collect. They're going to, I want to, uh, the, all the covers were like this. I think I mentioned I want to get the one with the covers that are like this. And it was 74. I think it's they changed the cover after book number 74. They changed the cover. So I'm going to try to collect all 74 of these books. I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to work out. But I'm going to try. And this is the first book in the series. This is The Key by Rebecca Flanders. And it's in pretty good shape. I got most of these off of uh, Thrift Books. So I found this one. I was so glad I found this one. And then, like, this is book number one. And then this is book number five. They're all in pretty good shape. Some of them are in uh, better shape than others, but um, they're all in pretty good shape. I read this one. I gave this a three-star. I think this is what uh, I think I mentioned on here. The, the female uh, was trying to find her brother, and she thought the guy that she found was her brother, and then she... But she started having feeling for the guy, but he wasn't her brother. Yeah, I think I, I went over that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that threw me off. So I gave this just a three star. Yeah. <laughs> this is book number 12, Night Shadows by Zelma Orr. And this is by uh, Ann Stewart, book number, book number five. And book number 12 is by Zelma Orr, Night Shadows. I like these covers too. Then we got A Matter of Time by Deborah Joyce. Oh, let me uh, mention when these were published. Uh, the Key was published in, oh, let's see when this was published. Uh, this was published in 1984, The Key, book number one. Book number five was published in, let's see here, 1984. Uh, Night Shadow, uh, book number 12, was published in, uh, let's see, 1985. Uh, 
Oh, and this was owned by somebody named Linda also. <laughs> oh, okay. Night Shadow by Zelma, Zelma Orr, number number 12. This is book number 37. Uh, this one got a little crease on the side here, but it's all right. Look at that, book number 37. Let's see when this was published. This was published in 1986, A Matter of Time. Uh, I don't know what, this is book number 41. This is in fantastic shape. Don't, it don't even look like anyone read this one. And then it's that in, introductory copy, Hollywood entry, book number 41. And let's see when this was published. This was published in 1986. And this is like in pristine shape. There you go. Book number 41. Then we got Mystery Train by... Did I tell you the name on here? Out from the Shadows by Andrea Davison. Mystery Train by Lynn Turner. This is book number 45 here. Let's see when this was published. Uh, this was published in 1986. Oh, and it got a little uh, diagram here, I guess, telling you maybe. Uh, is this in a, what is this? Covered Barn Garage. I don't know. Maybe it's something some location in the book or something but that's I never seen one in a like a category romance where they gave you a like little diagram but this is book number 45 mystery train by Lynn Turner published in 1986 hand in glove uh, by Ann Stewart book number 59 um, I finished this also but I'm not going to go over it right now I'll let you know when I do my wrap up for this month and this is a uh, was published in 1987. I'm also trying to collect uh, all Ann Stewart books out of the Holocaust Intrigue. And this Ann Stewart, by, uh, Hand and Glove by Ann Stewart. This is, was in uh, good shape too. We got uh, Taste of Treason by Laura Penda, Holocaust Intrigue. This also is an introductory copy. This is book number 62. This is in great shape too. Uh, this was published in 1987. Then we got The Only Witness by Jan Michaels, book number 71. This kind of got some uh, little creases on the side here. But it's still in pretty good shape. There you go. They look like they're in New Orleans or something in a swamp somewhere. Uh, let's see when this was published. This was published in 1987. And then this is the last book. This is book number 72. I hope I can find 73 and 74. Um, then that'll be 74 is the last book of, of this collection I want to get. So I have those two, but then I got to go back and get the rest of them because I, I, it's a lot of books. I, I got to make it to 74. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if they're going to happen, if I can find them. And I hope they're all in good shape. So I need, um, I want to collect all 74 books in this cover. This cover right here with the little, um, yellow at the top and this murder most strange by Christina Smith book number 72 this is in good shape too and this was published in 1987 so I only have um, let's see how many books I have three six I only have ten books out of this uh, Holoquin entry collection right now so hopefully I can find uh, the rest of the books I'm looking for in this Holocaust Intrigue line uh, all the way to 74. I hope so and I hope they all be in good shape. So got um, so there you go. They're all these are I, I've been lucky so far to get uh, these uh, all in pretty good shape. So I'm working on this collection. And then last but not least here I did place an order to off the Holocaust uh, website. If you like Holoquin and you like uh, category romances, um, they have some good deals on there uh, around the uh, holidays that come up. And also on Friday, they have some good deals. Uh, you, have to, you have to sign up on their website to get their emails and stuff like that. And they will send you emails and let you know when they're doing like buy three, get three free and stuff like that. If you want to check it out, if you like Holoquin, like I do. So I ordered a couple of books off of there. I ordered, I think I mentioned that I read a book by... 
Naima Simone, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I've been trying to collect her books too. So I ordered uh, three books uh, off of a Holoquin by uh, Naima Simone. Show those to you. I got vows in name only. This is these are Holoquin Desire. I guess she write for the Holoquin Desire line. Uh, vows in name only by Na Naima Simone. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And this was published in. 2020 got this and then I also got back in the Texan bed by uh, Naima Simone. This is uh, Texas Cattleman Club. I don't know what book this is in the series uh, But this is in a series the Texas Cattleman Club series And I don't know if she's just writing that series or if it's a lot of different authors writing in the series I don't know and this book was published in 2021 back in the Texas bed and then, I don't know if I got this book. I couldn't remember if I already had this book or not. I might have two. If I do, I'll, if anybody out there want to read it, uh, I'll let you know if I got uh, two of them. I might give one away. And then I also bought, she did a um, standalone book. This is just a regular book. The Road to Rose Bend by Naima Simone. And I don't know if this is also in like a little series she got going on. I don't know. But I saw this on there and I was like, let me check this out. I don't know what it's about. I didn't even read the back of it. Look, she just automatically bought for me. I just automatically bought it. <laughs> the, road, the Road to Rose Bend. I checked it out. And then it said it got a bonus, a bonus story in here. So I don't know. But I was like, let me give this a try. And there you go. And that's all I have for now. That's my little haul there um uh, that's all i have uh, i'm gonna come back with uh hopefully i'm gonna try to post again this coming friday my uh reveal book box um i got it for this month i want to get that done before i get another my reveal book box for next month so hopefully i can get that posted up this friday but until next time keep reading those romances and i'll see you all later bye